Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So in the previous video of our poster series, we went over the basics of making a mask and adding an element within it, like this sky. I wanted something a little bit more dramatic. But now that we have added the sky, we need to blend it in with the rest of the background. We're going to do this two ways. We're going to perfect the mask of the mountains to the sky so it looks natural, and then we're going to change the color of the sky to fit in with the ground. So, first thing we're going to do is perfect this mask. Since it is a pixel mask, we're going to use brush tools to do this. A vector mask, you would continue changing the path with the pen tool, but with this particular image, I want to stick to pixel. So, you press B, or you can go over here and click on the brush. Make sure that your foreground color is black, and then make sure that your layer and the mask are selected. So we're going to zoom in nice and close. We'll start on the left and work our way to the right. And as you can see very plainly, it is obviously different and off. And we want to just smooth that a little bit. Making it perfectly perfect with the brush tool isn't going to happen, but there's other things we can do. So with the brush tool, we want to change the size of the brush. Let's bring it down to 20 pixels. Opacity and floor are fine. And with the composite mode, you can make it normal and it'll simply erase things. But if you click darken, then it will not only erase, but it will, but it will have a slightly darkening effect on it, which will help with blending even more. So. The rest of the process is pretty self-explanatory. If you have a stylus, this can be a little easier, um, but right now I'm using a mouse, so just use very simple and easy brush strokes and do the best you can. And I'm gonna go through this, I'm gonna fast forward the footage a little bit so we don't have to spend all our time doing this because I'm gonna be as careful as I can, which you should be as well with your poster. Zoom out on it. It's fit to screen. That makes things easier. And we've got a pretty good transition here. Only a small few bits here, like right here, don't quite look perfect. So I'll go ahead and fix that. But otherwise, it's pretty darn close. So I'll go back to fit to screen. And that's pretty good. We looks it basically what we wanted to do is make it so there was a seamless transition between the mountains and the sky, and we did it. Um, there's a couple of exceptions like this mountain range over here, which I'm going to color in a later video. But for now, in the next video, we're going to change the colors of the sky itself in order to better match the mountains and the road.